Coming to the modes on the incubator, we have the skin mode or the servo mode. I know most of the intensive care units in the US as well use the servo mode to start with, but I have a couple of facts against using it as a routine. Of course, in the first 48 to 72 hours in an extreme preterm, the maintaining the temperature is a big challenge and the servo mode is going to help maintain it better. But beyond that stage and in older premature babies, for example, more mature premature babies, you may keep the servo mode for the first day alone and then you can change to the air mode. The advantage of using the air mode is you are more fine-tuning uh, the setting. The nurse is more actively involved and uh, the chances of overheating the baby is less. So the probe displacements may cause overheating in the servo mode. And if you compare the required temperature to maintain the stable body temperature, in the same baby, you can try experimenting in your unit. So keep it on skin mode and see what temperature in the air the baby is needing. Suppose a baby is a premature baby at 28 weeks and is uh, around three days old. The temperature showing on the skin mode may be 36 for the air temperature. Uh, so don't confuse it. The skin mode also uh, heats the air in the incubator so the measured air temperature is the actual air temperature that the baby is needing in the environment. The skin temperature is measured by the probe and that is shown on the left hand side in the giraffe for example. So you compare the air temperature and you switch the baby to air mode. You keep the temperature at the same level and gradually reduce it and you would find that the baby is maintaining at say one degree less uh, after a few days. So this difference also makes a difference because increased heat actually affects the metabolism. The basal metabolic rate is higher. Just like hypothermia is harmful, uh, having a higher uh, temperature in the environment may increase the risk of apnea and you may lose uh, more water uh, due to insensible losses when the temperature is high. So if the baby can maintain with 0.5 to 1 degree centigrade lower on an air mode, why don't we use it more regularly? We do use that in our unit. One thing that we should note in both the modes is that don't rely just on the skin probe on the baby for the temperature recordings. Uh, sometimes the probe may fail or it may be displaced. So we should have a regular manual measurement as well every six hours or so along with your cares. So incorporate it into your setup.